and final from the Sports and Fitness Center Vikings, falling in their first conference match, joined here by Coach Emma Purfus and Skylar Cotton. And Skylar, we'll start with you. You had the hot hand in the second quarter, kind of sparking the um, team there into halftime. What was your uh, feeling kind of in that second quarter? What had you on fire as you were? Um, I feel like I was just trying to get us like fired up more because we were kind of lacking energy. So I was just trying to shoot when I was open kind of give us more energy, I guess. Yeah, definitely provided that energy. You also were given their uh, guard, Christian, a tough time on the defensive end, had multiple steals and were in her face. Um, is that kind of the game plan? You just wanted to get in her jersey a little bit and kind of make things tougher? Yeah, pretty much. Just pressure up, kind of hold her to lower points because she catches fire pretty fast. So. All right, and then tomorrow, back-to-back uh, -back for you guys. You got Northland coming into town. What can we expect for that one? Um, we definitely need more energy and to play together as a team more. Um, Coach has said we need a better leader on the court, which I agree. So hopefully we can figure things out, regroup, come together, get a win. For sure. All right, Coach Perfis, we'll turn to you. A tough one here tonight. Always want to start out with a 1-0 record in conference, but some things to learn again from this one. And what were some of your takeaways? Yeah, I think for us, um, we kind of go up and down. Definitely we have some times where we play great offense play great defense and then we have times where only one shows up we have times where neither shows up um, I thought today we did a really good job of getting to the free throw line we shot 29 free throws but then they shot 33 so we really have to be more aggressive on offense but also be able to be more disciplined on defense too um, I think tomorrow a big thing is for us is going to be staying together you know like Sky just said we kind of missed that tonight when we hit a little bit of adversity um, we tended to splinter apart instead of come together so hopefully that looks better tomorrow for sure. Um, one of the interesting things that Carter and I noted on the broadcast was just the free throw percentage first off getting to the free throw line, but then the, se the second thing was just the shots weren't falling tonight. Was yeah. that just a uh, thing of their defense being in your jersey, making tough shots, or just not being able to hit shots? Um, I think part of it, we missed a lot inside. Um, I think part of that was maybe us expecting a foul and not just going up strong. Um, I think from three, Sky's been getting her shots up, and you can tell, and I think other people need to continue to do that too so we have more weapons from three. Um, hopefully as we kind of get a little bit better post presence those threes will be a little bit more open as well. Um, but it's really just we got to finish. We're getting good looks and we got to knock them down. For sure. All right, tomorrow what are some of the keys heading into that one on your side of things? I think a key for us is a fast start. Um, we talk scores and stops a lot. Um, we don't want teams to be able to play with us. We want to be able to kind of push ahead. You know, tonight we did end up with a five-point lead in that third quarter, um, and we weren't able to push forward. So tomorrow is going to be all about us staying together, having great energy, and doing it as a full team. For sure. Well, bounce back game tomorrow, and hopefully uh, you guys can come out with one. Wishing you guys all the best tomorrow, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.